what do you think the next generation of drugs would be? My name is Lei Zhang. I'm here to tell you. So our current drugs, most of the drugs, as we know, are non-specific, which means once it's been injected in your body, it goes all over your blood circ circ circulation. <clears throat> and uh, it will not only affect the target sites, such as a tumor, but also it will affect the healthy, healthy normal cells, which will lead to some very undesirable side, of side effects such as this, ch this ch child here, after receiving chemotherapy, suffering from the hair loss. So, what makes a better drug? A better drug has to be targeted, which means once it's been injected, it goes to a specific place inside your body, such as a tumor in here. And What's more, it, it will have to combine the uh, imaging properties which allows you to visualize the, the tumor at, it, at exactly where it is. Like in this image shown here, the tumor. Plus, because it is targeted, it will not affect the normal cells. So that its side effect will be minimized and the uh, quality of living of the patient will be much improved. So, <clears throat> I'm, I'm hoping after this talk, I will convince you that the project I'm working on has the potential to achieve this. So, what, what I'm working on? I'm working on something called a protein capsule. Protein capsule and its size is about 12 nanometer. How big is it? Imagine a tennis ball, and you compare it with this room. It's the, it's the similar size if you compare this protein to a human cell. So what do we do with this? This protein capsule is composed of 24 identical parts, and also it has this interior cavity, which is is available for the loading of the drugs. So what I do here is I have developed three different methods allowing us to attach a variety of molecules to the surface of this of these identical parts. And uh, we are able to attach some cancer targeting compound to its surface as well. What's more, we can attach enzymes and other proteins to this surface. Plus, the interior cavity will be used to encapsulate drugs. So the most important thing is we can also mix and match these functionalized parts and forming a hybrid protein capsule, which, which will have multiple applications in the field of biomedical research <clears throat> and, and the cancer treatment. So <clears throat> just uh, to confirm that these methods are working, we have attached the imaging agent to the protein capsule, and we have mixed it with the, with the cancer cell. As you can see here, this, this, this is the cancer cell. After it has been mixed with our protein, and we found that the protein capsule has been taken up by the cancer cell. And you can see which makes, which makes uh, and which, because it has an imaging agent attached, which makes the whole cancer cell fluorescent. Plus, we have injected this functionalized capsule into a living mice. This mice is alive and is just sleeping. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it is. <coughs> We have injected, and, and you can see here, we are able to visualize this protein inside the mouse clearly. And uh, plus, we, we have absorbed no obvious adverse effect in the mice. So having showed that this 
we can attach different things to this capsule. What we do, what we do next is what kind of molecules we attach to it and what does it do? Just give you one, just give you a, an example. This is actually what I'm currently working on. I'm working on to attach anti-cancer drugs and the imaging agent to this protein capsule. And this protein capsule has been modified with the cancer targeting compounds to it. So once this drug's been injected, it will find its target. In this case, it's the breast, can breast tumor. And uh, it will not only have the therapeutic effect, but also it, uh, it allows you to visualize where the tumor is at inside your body. If you look at this tube here, it might look like a tube of water, but actually it's the protein capsule which is able to recognize certain breast cancer type. And when we place it under the machine, where we can see that this capsule lights up, allow you for the in vivo <coughs> visualization. This will be one application. I'm setting up the mouse, tum uh, mouse tumor model for the in vivo injection at this moment. Another application will be we can attach genes on its surfaces to treat cancer. So once this, once this gene is being attached and uh, it goes inside your body and it finds, finds, finds the tumor, and this gene will, will interact with the DNA of the cancer and stop the cancer from growing and eventually leading to its elimination. There will be another possibilities. And uh, maybe we can also use this protein capsule for the delivery of the nutrition supplements. The advantage of using this capsule is it can be uptake by the, by the human cells more efficiently, and it can be delivered to a spe specific site inside your body. For example, an organ which is uh, in some kind of which has been suffered from some kind, of, some kind of nutrition disease. So using this capsule, you will not have to take in loads of the nutrition supplements. That will be, that will be one, uh, one benefit. So to, at, the, at the end of, of, my, of my talk, I would like to say that this, this protein capsules could be the future drugs within the next 15 years. And uh, you are here to see it first. Thank you for your attention.